Hey guys, it's Kay from KS Anonymous, and I am back today with another episode from r slash Tales from Retail. Customer doesn't believe the bigger item on sale is cheaper than the small one. Hi, just wanted to share this quick story. So, I'm organizing the oils department when a customer asks for help with a product. We had the same branded olive oil at 200 milliliters was three, while the 500 milliliters was two. He didn't get it how the bigger one was cheaper than the small one. After I explained to him that the bigger one was on sale, meaning we were trying to get rid of it, the customer couldn't believe me, saying, But you are losing money this way, and why would you want to get rid of this? After some more attempts of explaining, another coworker showed up and I asked her for help. She said exactly the same thing to the customer, and yet he didn't believe any of us and gave up and left the store annoyed. <laughs> Sales don't have to make sense if you're saving money. Just just go for it, dude. <laughs> like, I love how he just leaves the store like, y'all are stupid <laughs> selling more stuff for cheaper money, so I'm leaving. <laughs> like, what? This lady just wanted me to give her free money it gets reported for theft. Okay, so I was ringing up this lady, and she was returning an item that is originally $20, but she paid $10 with a coupon. She picked out an item to exchange that was also just $10, so the exchange was for zero. Easy enough, right? So I do the whole exchange, have the receipts printed, and ask her to sign. And before that, there was this little exchange. Don't I get $10 back? No, you paid $10 originally for the item you returned, and then got this new item that was $10, so the price zeroed out. But I used a $10 off coupon. Don't I get the coupon back? No, the coupon is a one-time use and already expired a week ago, so I don't have a new one that I could give to you. I can get my manager up to see if she could honor it, though. So I called my manager because there was a long line and I wanted to ring others up, so I moved her stuff and receipts to a different register and my manager was up there shortly. She told her basically the same thing that I said, and this lady started swearing, like saying, So freaking disappointing. Two other stores said they would do this. And my manager was just like, Sorry, but we can't just give you money back that you never paid. Here's kind of the kicker. She stomped out all angry, but took the item that was already returned back and left the new item she purchased. We kept her receipts in the new item, and my manager called and left a voicemail saying, Hey, you left the new item that's yours here, and took the old one. Since the exchange went through, the old item is technically ours since it was returned and you taking it is theft. When the lady called back, she said, I'm not freaking returning it, F you. And so we reported her for theft and have her name and phone number from her rewards account. So basically, she got nothing new, nothing back for the return, and has been reported for stealing. Edit. Hi guys, I didn't expect this to blow up so much. I'm just gonna clarify a thing or two. I didn't report her for theft, my manager did. If it was up to me, I probably would've just reversed the transaction and called it a day. I don't think she's getting reported to the police, just to our loss prevention people. I don't know where it carries from there. My store doesn't do returns if there's no receipt or history on the computers. It's possible for the chain I work at to, but because we're located within walking distance to a mall that has like five stores that sell things that we also sell, we don't process them like 99.99% of the time. I love how this lady just gets super, super mad and it doesn't even take the new thing that she was wanting. Oh, it's kind of awkward to be reported for theft for that, but technically... I can see where they're coming from, obviously, if it's just to loss prevention to, like, cover themselves because of what happened. I get it, but maybe, um, maybe the manager wasn't excited of being cussed out, so. I have recently started working a few days a week in a local shop, and I very much love it. Today, I had an interesting interaction. An old lady came in to look at rings. She needed help, so I had her sit down, and I brought rings to her that matched what she was looking for. Now, this woman had something in common with my late grandmother. My grandma had enormous knuckles. Gargantuan. Behemoths that seemed they could only possibly exist to topple buildings and reduce empires to rubble. Thanks to this shared trait, I was inclined to feel quite warmly towards this woman. We had a lovely time going through rings to find just the right one. My heart was turning into a furnace of affection. 
And then this woman did something that will haunt my dreams forever. A ring had gotten stuck on her finger. No big deal, these rings are all adjustable. Did she adjust them or wait for me to help? Oh no, no, she did not. Instead, she unhinged her jaw to release a wriggling, frothy tongue, which basted her finger with saliva. She then removed the ring and dropped the drenched and dripping ornament into my paralyzed hand. All of my feelings of warmth and comfort shriveled up and fell out of my butt. I just find it immensely disgusting. <laughs> Ugh, I do not want someone's saliva in my hand either. That's disgusting. Oh, God. Over the weekend, I was working the register and everything was fine. There was a long line, but we were going through it quickly and everyone seemed to be in decent moods. All until a Karen type approached my register. She looked visibly annoyed, probably because she had to wait in line a couple minutes and how dare the store be busy this time of year. As some background info, I work for a retail chain who recently has experienced some store closings this year, and many people have felt the need to ask us about it, although our location isn't one of the ones closing. Enter Karen. Hi, how are you today? Bradley and quickly putting her items on the counter. Oh, I'm sad all your locations are closing. Oh, good news, we aren't one of the locations to close. She looks me dead in the eyes. Not yet. With a smug look. This is such a small location, you know. It's next. She proceeded to be dead silent and crappy the rest of the transaction, which was fine by me because I didn't talk to her either more than I needed to after that. Why on earth would any person find it okay to basically insist to an employee that they're going to lose their job? I don't know if she was irritated about waiting in line or if she genuinely had no filter, but I would never go into a store and tell an employee, hey, you probably are gonna lose your job. People are so rude, it baffles me sometimes. I feel like she just wanted to be a crappy person, like, she's- is it, ugh. Who, who does say that? The Nintendo Switch had just come out. It had probably been about a week or so since release. They had initially sold out within a couple of days, but another shipment had just come in. There was a directive that stated we had to sell them as soft bundles. As in, if someone wanted to buy one, they also had to buy at least three items to go along with it, either games or accessories. Yeah, I didn't really agree with it, and I'd be annoyed by it if I were a customer myself and I was forced to buy extra stuff I wasn't otherwise going to buy, but hey, it was my job. We had a couple of display boxes on the counter with the Switch and some popular games in case people had trouble picking stuff out. So this older woman comes in and asks if we have the Switch available. Yes, we just got them in. They're currently available in a bundle with three items of your choice. These here are the most popular ones. I say, and motion to the bundles on the counter. I think they were two Mario games and a carry case and then two other games and a screen protector. She looks saddened and says, Oh, I only wanted the system. Can I get just the system, please? I'm sorry, but we only have them available in bundles at the moment. I respond. But I can't just get it without the other stuff? She asks. I'm afraid not, but you can pick whichever games or accessories you like, it doesn't have to be these here. I say worried that she might think she'd have to get the ones on display. She says, But I don't need the games or any accessories, I just want the system. Part of the reason the company did this is a large number of people buying multiple switches at different stores to resell them, and this helped to combat that. I'm not saying she was a reseller for certain, but if I had to make a bet, I'd bet that she was. I understand, but at the moment we only have them available in bundles, I say. Well, I just don't need the other stuff. I don't see why I'd have to buy those if I don't need them. At this point, I'm not really sure how else I can phrase it. I'm sorry ma'am, but they're only available in bundles at the moment. I say, still thinking about other ways I can word it since I know she's going to freaking ask again. Do you have any systems that aren't part of the bundle? She asks. <sighs> no, I'm sorry ma'am, we only have them in bundles at the moment. She stops for a second and starts thinking. I can literally see what she's thinking as she looks at the extra items on the counter. Okay, I'll go ahead and get the switch with the blue and red controllers. 
The Switch is available with either blue and red controllers or black controllers. And those three items, she says, pointing to the one with the Mario games and case. I know what her plan is, so I say, Okay, I can get that for you, but I do have to mention that if you were planning on returning any of the items, you'd have to return the Switch also. Her jaw actually drops. She thought she was so clever with her plan. It really wasn't that clever. Rather, it wasn't so clever that I couldn't have figured it out. She cries. What? Why not? You never said anything about that before. I'm sorry, but since it's part of a bundle, you would have to return everything if you were to return anything, I say. I don't see why you're making this so difficult. I just want to buy the system without the extra crap, she moans. I'm very sorry, but they're only available in bundles at the moment. I say pretty much robotically at this point. Now, I'm not sure how many more times she asked or what exactly she said, but she eventually gave up and said, Well, fine. I'll just wait until you get some in that aren't in bundles. And leaves. In reality, she must have asked me no less than ten times if they were available non-bundled. I'm surprised she didn't ask for a manager. <laughs> Uh, of course, assuming this person isn't a manager, but I'm surprised she didn't ask for a manager to ask them also if there were any available that weren't in bundles. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, that's super annoying. Anyway, that's going to go ahead and wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and drop a like and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Real quick, I want to thank my patrons up on the screen. You should see my face palmers and my crazy case thank you so much for supporting me in that way if you want to become a patron or you would like to send some stuff to my email for possible inclusion in a future video all of that information is in the description box and i'll talk to you all in my next video bye